Hello beautiful people, let's just take a little moment to admire this super cute little plant right here um, that my mom just got me today. And today we will be looking at these amazing watercolors from Plop Aquarelas. Y este es el set que vamos a hacer el review y el swatching. Pero hay que hablar español porque este es un set de acuarelas que vino de México. También este es un canal de inglés y español. Pues medio checo y medio quebradito y otro poquito de mixteado. Pero it's okay, no worries, está bien. Ajay. Pues mira lo que tenemos, tenemos... Otro paquete que llegó de acuarelas, este las pedí hace una semana y apenas llegaron, estoy muy contenta. Right, let's open this, I've been waiting this for a while so I'm really excited to open this up. Let's see if I can open it. I think this is where I open it. Okay, got it open. Alright, here's the review. Ooh, okay, I see. Okay, get that out. It's been a... Okay, so here is what we have. Here's the box over there. Ooh, and a cool little sticker. I think it's oh. Okay. I'm so nervous and excited. Ah, these are amazing! Ooh! Okay, so here is their card. This is so cool. I think this is also this. Oh, here's some information on the back of the card. So these are handmade watercolors. Okay. And I got two sets of these. There's a little sticker, look at that, they're so cute. Okay. You know what, I'm liking the pink, so let's just leave the pink as the background. This is the set Hemas, so gems. Okay, I can't wait to swatch these. Oh, look at the cute little box. It's so adorable. Ah, so cute. Ooh, this one looks cool too. This one is Blop in the Wonderland, I believe. Yeah, Blop in Wonderland. And I wanted to get more things from the shop, but they kind of um, sold out. Swatch card. Oh no, that's just swatch card. It's just a little. Oh no, it is a swatch card. Yes, I always love it when I have swatch cards. Aquí todos estamos locos. Um. Yes, we are all crazy here. And here's the black one. Oh, this is so dope. I like this. I like that they gave this out because they look so different when you put them on like um, 
a black sheet of watercolor paper than when you put them on a regular white colored paper. Oh, these are so cool. Look at this. Look, I'm a little messed up, but it's okay. These are amazing. All right. And now we'll be doing the swatching for these watercolors and we will be using their swatch cards so the black one and also the white one here I'm just setting up and we'll be using this to pick up some water and now we just have to put a little bit of droplets that way it can activate the watercolors So the first color that I will be swatching is Alicia. Ooh. Okay. And here is how it looks like. And you can tell that I didn't let the water soak into the pigment enough and that's the reason why there's not a lot of that glitter there. But then I do it a second time and then I get the results that I want. And the next color is Conejo. Ooh, I like that. This actually reminds me of, I would say, snow. So this is what it looks like. And I really love this one. It's actually one of my favorite colors in this palette. And this color right here is Tweedly. I believe that is how you pronounce it. I'm not sure, but it is a really fun name to say. And I really love this color. I'm really into like gold. And this color also has a fun name to it. It is Sombrerero. <laughs> that is so silly. Um, yeah, these have such great names to them. Yes, the color se llama Gato. Ooh, very interesting. I don't know why it's called Cat, but it's just called Gato. So, it's a pretty cool name. And a really lovely color. Me está encantando este color. Casi a mí no le me gustan los gatos. Pero el color me encanta. And this next color is Reina. Reina. 
I believe that is how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. It is in English and not in Spanish. But this color is absolutely amazing. And you will see why later on in this video. It's magical and it has a little bit of surprise in it. And it will shock you. You will be shook. Y este el color aquí te va a encantar. Um, tiene una sorpresa. Yo digo que este color es un poquito mágico. Pero espera casi al último el video porque vas a saber lo que estoy hablando. This beautiful, lovely red is called Twiddly Dumb. Man, I am just loving these names here. They're so funny, so cute, and very unique. Um, it really represents the personality of the watercolors. And this color right here reminds me a lot of the movie The Wizard of Oz, where Dorothy has her red slippers. I feel like if you put this color on your painting, it will do some magic. I think that's what it is. This color just looks magical. And this last color, but not least, is named Bloop. Man, that is so crazy. I ju I'm just loving the names of these colors. It's so creative. And I'm just loving the colors themselves. I am really enjoying this one right here. It turns into like a green when it dries, but then when it hits that light, it's like a purple. You'll see. And this is what they look like after they are all done drying. As you can tell, the multicolor ones do change drastically once they hit that light. And the other singular color ones are just so very vibrant. And here's what they look like with a darker sheet of watercolor paper. As you can tell, the white ones change drastically. And then the other ones, you can tell that they are very vibrant on that black paper. This set right here is called Gems. These are so dope. I saw them in their website and I was just like, man, I have to have these. These look so incredible. Este set es el set Gemas. Sadly, I don't know the name of this color right here just because it doesn't have the name on it on the half pan or it doesn't have it on their website. Y este color se llama Mística. This color is named Mística. Este color se llama Amatista, so this color is called Amatista, and it's like a purple, but then also like a pink if you tilt it, and then a little bit of yellow. Um, este color es un poco de um, rosa y también tiene casi, no se nota, pero un poquito de amarillo. Este color se llama Esmeralda. This color is called Esmeralda. And depending on how the light hits it, it turns into like a blue. Um, the color change isn't that drastic as the other ones. Este color se cambia en un azul, depende como la luz lo pega. Pero el color que cambia no es tan drástico como, como las otras pastillas que están en este set. Y la última pastilla de este set se llama Agatha. Um, the name for the last watercolor half pen is named 
I get that. And um, this color changes into like a dark blue, but at the same time, it also looks light depending on the way the light hits it. Ah, uh, este color se cambia a un azul. Y para el set gemas voy a estar usando el color agata y también el primer color que no supe cuál el nombre era también lo voy a estar usando para pintar el dragón. Voy a estar usando agata y el otro color de azul para las sombras del dragón. Y antes de pintar con mis acuarelas de plop. Lo que hice fue es pintar el dragón con mi otro set de case for making y eso era porque no sabía qué color es um, escogiera para pintar el dragón, so escogí unos azules y por eso es que voy a estar pintando casi la mayoría parte del dragón con azul y luego también creo que le voy a echar otros brillitos blancos que tengo allí pero esto no es necesario ponerle um, acuarelas regulares primero porque los brillitos uh, son suficientes así usarlos porque son muy um, como se le puede decir como están bien juntos los brillitos cubre toda la página de donde tú quieres pintar And for the sparkle color and also the blue one, you do have to wait a little bit longer for the pigment to soak in all that water. That way you get all those little brillitos or sparkles in your brush rather than the other ones where you don't have to wait as long, which is the ones that change color depending on the background. Those ones you don't have to wait as long for the water to get soaked into the pigment. Y pues aquí los voy a dejar por un momentito y regreso para atrás casi en los últimos minutos del video. I will be back, but for now I'll leave you guys to watching the video.
Over time while painting, I think I got a little bit carried away with all the sparkles because I was really enjoying painting with these watercolors. Me encantó tanto pintar con estos um, acuarelas y los colores que tienen son muy diferentes a los que ha visto en otros um, sitio webs o en otras compañías de acuarelas. Me encantó tanto que casi quería usar todos los colores aquí en este um, dibujo pero alcancé a usar casi medio de los colores que compré porque me encantaron tanto um, yeah I think I just got really carried away with how beautiful and pretty and shiny and sparkly all of these watercolors were Okay, and then this is the watercolor that had a little surprise in it. Um, I was so shocked when I found out that these were two separate colors because at first it's like burgundy, but then it has like a yellow um, pigment like at the center of it. And I was just mind blown. I was like, I have never seen something like this before. I was not expecting it at all and I didn't read up anything on this on their website so I was just really shocked about this I thought it was such a cool idea and something very different for uh, watercolors so I am very happy that I got this set of watercolors and if you would like to get this set or other sets from Blup you can always check out their Instagram um, it's Blop and I will link it in the bio. Y si te gustó los colores aquí en este set, los puedes uh, encontrar en su Instagram que se llama Blop y lo voy a tener aquí abajo. So this is how it turned out. I really enjoyed painting with these watercolors and I'll see you when I see you. Este es como se ve y pues Espero que te haya encantado este video y te veo cuando te veo.